All right, what's up first? So first one that we have is Finn and Juice. So this is Snoop Dogg invests in Klarna. Uh, so this is a story over on Forbes, but everywhere else too. Uh, that Snoop Dogg invests in Klarna, which is Sweden's 2.5 billion unicorn. So he's become a minority shareholder, uh, changed his name to Smooth Dog. That's with three O's in it, which is wonderful. Uh, and uh, a whole other group of stuff. But I think we should just get into this one. This is pretty cool, right? What do you guys think? Super cool. I'm a big hip hop fan. So Smooth Dog is welcome in the fintech world. It's like your world's colliding, like the hip hop world and like the finance world. And yeah, yeah. So we, we, it's fabulous. we obviously had, we had Will I Am on the podcast about what, two months, three months ago. And that was like a big thing. But now Snoop's in the finance. We're like, I'm putting it out there. We're going to get Snoop on the podcast, right? We're going to have to get make this happen in terms of this setup just because it feels like we, it would be a waste of this opportunity if we didn't, right? I'm the I'm the naysayer in the room. I mean, first of all, I'm not a hip hop fan. Um, but second of all, I I I questioned actually last week how valuable uh, Will I Am had been to Atom, and I think it's an interesting choice of brand ambassador because it's not exactly everybody's going to love it. It's not like a well loved figure. It is deliberately divisive. Now I know that if you if you were a fashion brand, I would get why you might do that because you're aligning people to your tribe. But also, as we talked about last week. Payments is a scale business. You want as many people using your payments method as possible. So to me, it's a really interesting decision to choose a brand ambassador that I would say, and I'm not the only person, quite a few people are going to be like, oh, I don't know about that. Like, that's not necessarily something, first of all, necessarily that makes me want to use it. And second of all, actually makes me want to do the opposite. Like, I don't want to give Snoop Dogg my money. I mean, I know plenty of people around this table have done that. But I'm just not sure about it. I definitely did do that. Yeah, he, that was the first album I ever bought on CD. The Dog so. Father? No, the one before that. The one before Sorry, that. we've totally taken the <laughs> sensible point and moved it away. But That's fine. But I, I, agree, I agree with what you're saying, Sarah. There is an element here about, I, and I hadn't even considered that, whether it'd be, I, like, I'm just like 12-year-old me, like, excited by this. <laughs> but, like, the like uh, on a real point, actually, he might be much more of a diverse, um, you know, people who either look at his lyrics and be like, well, this isn't a, a role model we should be sort of looking at to represent a financial services company. Like, you can't imagine, like, you know, Lloyd's Banking Group or RBS having a spokesperson who was, uh, you know, hip hop star, right? Did, did you have any uh, a brand ambassadors at SoFi, Dan? We didn't, and I, <laughs> I wish we had, but but, but we didn't. Um, but the, the way I look at it, I think Klarna, I don't know that most people on the street know who they are. So I think what they want is just to get the brand out, their brand recognition. So if in three months or six months someone's do, making a transaction, they see it, there's some recognition. Honestly, I can't see this being a long running partnership maybe it will maybe i'd be surprised but i i think it's just to give it a bit of um you know pizzazz in in the short term and 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 to try and get that name recognition going when they when they entered the uk market their advertising campaign i don't know if anybody saw it was a man with a rather large belly with just wearing his underpants smacking his stomach and like the waves of that rolling out to be like sound waves um so they have a history of of doing slightly off the wall advertising have you seen the smooth viral stuff online which involves i think a slippery snake being put down a slippery slide because they're talking about everything that's around smooth. So that was the, the precursor to smooth dog. But I think a lot of what Klarna has done is accept that, unlike other payment companies which have tried to work with retailers, is that they have to get skin in the game. So my, my understanding of Snoop it- Snoop in the game. Oh, Snoop, there we go, exactly. Um, is that they, you know, they, they do a lot of joint marketing, joint customer acquisition, et cetera. So they need that brand recognition um, to demonstrate that they're kind of bringing as much to the table as the retailers. And I think as much as Snoop, maybe how many years ago, criminal record, et cetera, et cetera, and he has some investments in cannabis companies, but don't we all these days? Um, I kind of think that, that 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 side of him is lost and people kind of see the Snoop Dogg that, you know, appears in pop culture, own rom-coms, etc. Um, yeah, yeah, I was watching... Um, yeah, Casey some, Perry. Who can remember the film where he appeared... Um, where old, the, old School. The, the, the old School, yeah, the frat party, and he appeared in the middle of that. So I'm going to put it out there, that's not a film I would ever have chosen to see. So. <laughs> but, but it was <laughs> a, a very, very quiet a good, Christmas. I think, uh, broader point there, that suddenly we're getting to a point where there are cultural influences, whether they're the Kardashians or, or a big 
it hip hop name where it's no longer enough that you're just going to pay them a fee to be in an ad actually they want to get a little bit of equity they're you know they're going to they want to leverage the wealth they have to make more and so then it, be, it becomes much more of a joint venture of the snoop brand that or the smooth brand with the uh, with Klarna and 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 that sort of uh, influencer-based business, suddenly it's not two global businesses coming together. It's actually, I, I want your following, I want your endorsement, but I can't buy it from you because it's are you because it's so valuable and you're so rich. Yeah, and he's obviously somebody who's a clued up guy. He's involved in Reddit that, and a though? number of different things. I was going to ask that but, question. Do you actually think he is clued up or do you think he has a manager who comes to him and says, these are really smart investments, dude, you want to pick them? I don't know. I mean, I, I always saw that argument like, there's a Ashton Kutcher, for example, is like one of the the guys yeah. that's always like play his investor, but like really it was his fund manager that like put it in Uber and all these he other had companies. A really good fund investor. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd be inclined to think the same thing probably. He he does talk quite a good game though, doesn't he, Ashton Kutcher? Actually, in terms of like the investments and the strategy and the now, yeah. but when he made those investments, probably probably not it so was much. his advisor, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. like David Beckham. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but coming back to Snoop, we're discussing it as the lead item on this podcast. They're going out to millions of people. So maybe, maybe it does work, just the fact we're talking about it. Maybe that's enough. Yeah, I, I guess the, there is interesting points here about, so to, to your point, Jason, actually in, in that, uh, you know, the brand ambassadors have lived before, but like Howard from Halifax didn't get <laughs> equity in Halifax, did he? Do you know what I mean? Like, so, so that, that, that changing... He's kicking himself now. I know, yeah. He should have, uh, he should have negotiated a bit harder, shouldn't he? But, um, but no, I, I think it really is an interesting story. I'm hoping we manage to get to Snoop and actually answer all of these questions. But, you know, if, if anything, I think the, you know, the interview that we did do with Will I Am, which if you guys didn't catch that one, so that was back, was it November last year? So that was, uh, I think it was, 26, 270, 269, something like that. Go back and have a look at that. If you didn't see the fist bump with that leader Glyptus and Will I Am did, it was the best thing I've ever seen in my entire <laughs> life. Like I literally, I have that in my photo stream almost permanently just because it's the best thing. Um, but, um, you know, Will I Am did say some smart things around the industry. Like he is on boards of AI companies doing all sorts of different things and doing good in that sense. I, I have actually probably seen more smart stuff come out of him than I have out of Snoop when it comes to financial services or, uh, you know, technological kind of advancements. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see whether he's in it from a branding perspective or he's in it from an advisory perspective. Apart from maybe that watch that made everyone bleed. But that was not so good. Yeah, yeah that was not great. I think, I think the interesting thing... <laughs> on, the interesting thing with this one is... And I haven't heard the Will I Am podcast, apologies. Um, and I don't know an awful lot about... Other than him being an investor and it being a big thing a couple of years ago when he got on board. But you can go online and there's a commercial all about Klarna with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. And that's doing the rounds uh, on social media. Uh, it's already racking up a phenomenal amount of views. This seems to me the difference is that Snoop Dogg is an investor and a brand ambassador mm -hmm. yeah. rather than Will I Am, who is Will just I am an, is investor. an investor. And an ambassador. Yeah. But, but, but I haven't seen Will I Am ambassadorize, be an ambassador for um, Atom Bank. So I haven't seen consumers being pulled towards that bank based on this big star they've got on board. Whereas it seems to me Klarna are going to put him to work. You know who I, I would want? The Rock. I reckon he's the brand oh, yeah. ambassador. Dwayne Johnson. Everybody loves Dwayne like, Johnson. He's a, you know. That's big money. He's that's, big money. You, that's yeah. big money. He's a really nice guy. Do you ever listen to the, well. the, you you listen to the Simon, the the Simon Mayo, Mark Kermode podcast? The, yes. the, yeah, that, I mean, it's one of my favorites. And they just say he is literally one of the nicest yeah. people. And, and he, he raises ratings of films just for his pure charisma. I mean. So, so I, I think I think 11FS might need a brand ambassador. No, right? no, I think, I, think if, I think we flip this. We say, Dwayne, if you're listening, if you want to start a bank, if you want to like, if you want to do a, a fintech proposition, we're here for you, bro. Yeah. Like we, I'm like, in for that. You see, I'm like, the, no, the Snoop no. Dogg, I'm like, no way, but The Rock, I'm like, Hold on, I'm it sounds a bit like that. Alcatraz though. I'm sure that's the right, is that the right vibe? We'll no, work it's rock solid. Oh, it's rock, sorry, yeah, yeah. Your oh. money's really, really safe I, with I, us. I can see it already, like, it's a winner. So just coming out to that, Sarah, so you'd definitely be in for The Rock yeah. to be a brand ambassador yeah. for a bank. He's a we, feminist icon. Is he? He absolutely is. Feminist icon? He absolutely is. He um he has two young daughters and um he is out there, like his social media is all over. He's clearly a very nice man, but he's always, always, always like saying he's a feminist, like teaching his daughters, like they can do anything they want in the world. Like he he is he is absolutely 
couldn't be more perfect. Yeah, it can be more perfect. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna email them and we're gonna start back because we're brilliant. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna see what I can do with that one. So, uh, so if I actually, Dan, are you in? You in for that? Yeah, 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 yeah so definitely. We, this, this is just it's my sister's turning... birthday coming up, so I need an excuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this has suddenly turned into a board meeting for a bank that we're making. So the sorry, bank of rock. Yeah, sorry for this one, listeners. We'll move on, shall we?